हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ सोफिया गोयल एंड हेयर आई एम विद द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ आर एच एंड सी एस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज और यू कैन से इट द सी एस एस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन पार्ट टू सो आई थिंक आफ्टर दिस वीडियो ऑल द सी एस एस क्वेश्चन विल बी कवर्ड एंड अगेन फ्रेंड्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज डोंट स्किप द वीडियो सो यू सो दैट यू कैन गेट द मोस्ट आउट ऑफ दिस वीडियो ओके सो लेट्स बिगेन uh the first question would be how to make your css cross browser compatible so what happens is sometimes that we write a uh, code in the css is only compatible with uh, maybe like uh, internet explorer or it could only be compatible with google chrome or mozilla firefox so in some attributes when we are doing the testing on all these browsers we need to you know write some more code uh, to make it compatible on all the browsers so how do we do that uh there is a common way of doing it usually so that we need to know about okay uh the next question is uh what is the difference between mobile first and desktop first approaches and which one is better okay so uh the mobile first approach is like you know making it for mobile first and then going further and desktop first is starting with desktop first and then going to mobile uh there is other stuff related to that as well you can check it out and which one is better uh, for me i would say that uh, there is nothing no one is better than anyone it mostly depends on the requirement like what is the requirement of your site or what is your preference are you willing to release a site which should have the maximum traffic from desktop or you are expecting a site mostly to run on mobile phones so that is the deciding factor for me okay the next question is uh, what is the disadvantage of using uh float and how do we fix that now i don't think it is much relevant here because uh, you know we use float we used to use float earlier but now we have flex and grid which are way more better and float had its disadvantages as well but there are some people who are really stuck with the basics and they want you to know everything like why was float there and why it was used earlier and now uh what are the things that are used so you know just to cover everything up uh, we can you know just go with uh, what are the disadvantage of using float okay the next question is uh, what is the difference between uh, bold and strong properties okay so there are some people who ask it sometimes so uh, the next question is like there could be some questions around uh, like opacity what is opacity in css and why it is used uh the next question could be what is z index in css and why it is used or for z index something uh, the question could be like like if you want to put something on the on the top how do you do that okay so that could be the question now as i have already said in the previous videos that uh, there will be some practical interview questions in this video so let's start that in this the first question will be like uh, how do you make a uh, three divs stand parallel to each other like there are three divs and you want them to stand like in this horizontal way parallel to each other how do you do that okay uh, they could even ask you to write a sample code or something for this purpose uh, the next question is there is a container or there is the whole body of of the html element and you want uh, an element to be in the center or like there is a div and you want to place it on the center of the body or the container uh, how do you do that and friends there are more than one ways of doing it and i would really recommend you to check all those out so that you know when you give an answer like this where you know a multiple ways of doing one thing that gives a really good impression and the interviewer you know just think that you know everything so it would be good if you know about all these all these uh, things to do to make it come at center fine uh the next question will be uh, how to create an on off button like uh, uh, there is a button if you put uh, press on then off is unchecked and if you press off on is unchecked so how do you create it so friends these are really basic stuff if you know if you are clear about the basics you will def you will be able to answer these questions for sure okay uh the next question is uh, it is not much related to css but still I, like css plays an important role in there is like if you have a page right and if you have a hamburger menu the one with your two three lines and if you click it it appears and if you then again close it or uh, then it disappears right but what if i want to you know click on the remaining body 
uh, any time and that menu should disappear like apart from the close button even if i'm clicking on anywhere on the body apart from the menu it should disappear so how do you create such thing the next question could be around accordions as well you know those uh, buttons that this type of buttons that you click and then a menu pops up and then again you press it goes up okay so how do you create an accordion or how do you style it and how do you make this functionality work this is related to somewhat to javascript okay and uh, adding classes to the html elements and everything but again this is a complete stuff where you need to know css as well so that's why i'm covering it in the uh, css part fine uh, once a question was asked to me which was an interesting question for me is that uh, there is a circle with uh, these different color borders so how do you create that kind of circle with different border colors okay so this is just to check your uh, css knowledge and uh, now again uh, there could be some questions where uh, they can show you pictures of some stuff like uh, there is this type of website how do you create it that would be really simple but again a lot of css is required to maintain it and most of the people who fail are honestly telling you uh, are uh, the ones who have been using libraries from the beginning like somebody is using for example bootstrap or somebody is using especially the people who are using material ui because uh, they are completely dependent on the html that material ui is providing and styling on the basis of that or even people are using this shopify and all these things uh, for that matter uh, they usually you know don't know this kind of stuff much so if you are working on these libraries a lot please go through the basics once and you know study about it another question that was asked to me once was maybe like you can just try and practice it is like how to create a flag the flag of india if you're trying to create how will you do that uh, and uh, you know it is easier to place the colors and uh, make you know divs or something with the colors but uh, the placing the circle is a challenge where you place the whole wheel obviously nobody is going to ask to put all the 24 sticks there but uh, you have to you know create uh, some basic of that okay so friends uh, these are basically like the examples that i thought would be good to cover and uh, some small assignments that you can you know consider to try out and practice it uh, basically friends uh, no matter how many questions i cover okay i have covered the most asked questions or you know uh, what is out there mostly but a uh, css is actually big really big and in css there are a lot of properties related to each and every stuff like for example if you have a line written over there so the person could ask you like how can you increase the font size uh, the font weight like how can you make it more bold or how can you change the color or you know how can you make uh, the whole string capitalize or how can you make just the first letter capitalize so you know even with this single line there are a lot of questions that could be formed so obviously uh, nobody can cover all the questions obviously we can cover uh, most of the questions that you don't think or uh, maybe the stuff that uh, uh, that that is mostly us again okay but uh, the best thing would be you know to practice it as much as possible uh, as per my thinking uh, like people who are like super intelligent they can learn uh, some technologies like scripting languages or javascript or maybe some java or, or some high end language just by reading by theory and they will be able to implement it but css is something that cannot be learned i have seen people who are really great with uh, work but uh, they're not able to understand css much because it the only thing that works with css is practice you need to practice only that you will be able to remember all the stuff and uh, you you will be able to understand the complete implementation of each and everything okay so friends uh, that's it about the video and i hope the questions in the series will be helpful for you to clear out your interviews and if you like it please press the like button please share it with your friends please subscribe the channel and till then see you in the next video bye bye